Monica, what are you doing? I'm putting sneaker protector on my new shoes. Show us these new shoes. Where'd you get these? Tony gave them to me for my birthday. Oh yeah, that's so, right. Brilliant. And you're putting you're putting water protector on there, you say? Sneaker protector, which he also gave me. Okay. Well, that was nice of them. that a guy has good enough taste to pick out these shoes. That is, I wonder what the the, uh, what the checkout that? person thought when when he was checking out with these pink lace shoes. Well, anyway, the first stop on our multicultural experience here is in Orient Plaza, where you can see the signs are often in other languages. We have the Mai Pisang, we have Penang Malaysia cuisine. On another note, I've actually been to the island of Penang, and um, if you go hiking in the jungle, make sure you have a map, or at least don't get separated from your party. But anyway, we have the Haobin supermarket, and many other places that seem to be a mix of Vietnamese, Chinese, and uh, probably Korean. The new mini hot pot is right over there. Yep. And our, our destination, though, is Fortune Herbs, because we're looking for traditional Chinese medicine. Yeah, that's so cool. All right, well, we've successfully acquired a dress and a hair ornament, and now we're going to go into Cindy's Herbs. That's right, yet another Chinese apothecary, Cindy's Herbs. Okay, so in keeping with our multicultural experience, we're doing another very, very Chinese tradition. We've eaten dinner, our bellies are full, so now we've come to a park, thanks to my VZ Navigator's ability to locate parks near our GPS location, and we've been walking around the park, because the philosophy goes that after you eat, you should take a long walk to aid, aid in digestion, because the foot movement is what pumps and circulates the chi throughout your body. And so that is what we are doing. So we are keeping the tradition going. Plus we've been in the car all day and it feels good to get out and walk and stretch our legs. So we're at Dresden Park in Atlanta in near Doraville. It was in your book. Alright, so if you come to this park, it's very important that you not bring your hoofed animals. No pigs, no cows, no goats. I mean, I know it's Looks like a nice place to bring them, but you can't bring them. Also, you can play soccer. No golf practice.